Dear learners, how are you? I hope you are having a great time with your preparation because this is peak time, February, March, April. This is talk exam time. So I believe you are very busy with your talk exam preparation. However, I'm here again for your help. So this tutorial is going to be our first tutorial on tips and tricks series. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss about numbers. So numbers can be divided basically in two categories real number and complex number so complex numbers are not important for talk exam usually they do not appear in talk exam but a real number is important for talk e f i you should study this this is very important so we will discuss different kind of or different types of real numbers their definitions and some practice problems in this tutorial so first of all i like to draw an ellipse i hope you know what is ellipse you studied in geometry so i drawn a large ellipse as large as possible on my screen first of all i want to divide this ellipse into half exactly equal okay perfect so this ellipse the whole ellipse represents a real number a real number a real number can be divided among two different kind of numbers rational numbers and irrational numbers rational numbers are represented by q irrational numbers are represented by q prime so what is a rational numbers rational numbers are any numbers that can be expressed as the quotient or fraction p by q of two integers where p is the numerator i'm writing here p by q any numbers that can be expressed by p by q where p of course is an integers and q not equal to zero this includes i mean like rational numbers includes all kind of fractions both positive and negative integers since any integers z are rational numbers then a negative fraction minus 4 by 5 it's a negative fraction also irrational uh, rational numbers then let's say 0 0.75 this is called a terminating terminating decimal that means after decimal points if we have limited or finite numbers then it is called terminating decimals all terminating decimals or finite decimal numbers are rational numbers if some numbers has infinite or repeating decimals like after decimal points it keep going keep going till the infinity this kind of numbers can be written as 0 0.3 a bar or some books they write like this 3 and a point uh, above sometimes if some numbers keep repeating like this 0 0.303 303 303 like that this kind of number can be written 303 bar above all three numbers or 0 0.303 a point just above the three and here okay that means this is the range which keep repeating so this kind of number can be expressed by p by q like one by three it can be expressed these repeating decimals are rational numbers so in conclusion we can write i'm clearing it for making a space for my writing in conclusion we can write negative infinity to let's say negative two negative one or maybe we do not have mass space so we'll just skip let's say here negative 2 0 positive 2 plus infinity and rational number also includes fractional number it's a negative fraction also positive fractions also some repeating fractions 1 by 3 like 0 0.3 point so these all numbers are rational numbers so rational numbers of course can be again divided among different categories like positive numbers negative numbers let's see how many way we can do it to define i like to draw again ellipse inside this rational number set so let's call these numbers uh, i mean this ellipse as integers which are represented by z so what is integers integers means from negative infinity to positive infinity all numbers are rational are integers if there are not fractional numbers okay so fractional numbers can be integers without fractional numbers all negative and positive numbers are integers and if we divide these integers again then we can write let's write another ellipse so this ellipse let's say it whole number whole number means 0 to positive infinity so whole number exclude negative numbers and whole numbers are represented by n naught then let's draw another ellipse inside the whole numbers and this ellipse represents natural number which is represented by n and natural number means only i mean excluding zero all numbers 
are natural numbers okay so we'll make a relationship between these numbers that relationship will be helpful to remember but to make relationship let's have an idea about set i believe you know about set what is set actually we know uh, we can call a is a set of some numbers one two three four five these are the numbers maybe so sets are denoted by curly brasses b is another set we can write three four five right what we can see from here the elements of b also elements of a so in this certain condition certain relationship we can write b is subset of a that means values or elements of b also included or can be found in value of or elements of a so b subset a means that but we can say a subset b we cannot say it so in that case we can write this way because all elements cannot be found in b there are some but not all therefore we can't write it however my purpose wasn't tell you about sets but make a relationship between them so how we can do that what we can see all natural numbers are subset of whole numbers right then all whole numbers are subset of integers z and all integers are subset of rational number q so this is the relationship it's important you should remember we can add an on more like on all rational number q also subset of real number r so this relationship is very helpful to uh, remember uh, the definition of different kind of numbers now let's talk about what is irrational numbers it's very simple irrational numbers are the uh, opposite of rational numbers that means irrational numbers are the numbers which can't arrange the way we did for rational like p by q we cannot some numbers like a square root of two this is a radical number perfect not it is not a perfect square okay so this kind of number are irrational numbers this number we can't write this way p by q it's not possible because this root to such a number which is on point it's actually repeating not repeating but until infinity after decimal it, it keep going so this kind of numbers can be represents as p by q let's compare with a square root of four this is not irrational numbers because this is a perfect square we know a square root of four equal to two therefore this is irrational numbers rather than irrational numbers similarly if we think cubic root of two this is also irrational numbers cubic root of three also irrational numbers cubic root of 27 so this is not irrational numbers because cubic root of 27 we can write this way 3 has a power of 3 so this is a perfect cube okay this number 27 is perfect cube therefore this is not irrational numbers the value of this or this is 3 so this is rational numbers not irrational numbers here 27 it's not irrational it's also not irrationals rather than rational numbers some numbers like pi pi also irrational numbers because pi we know the value 3.14159 these numbers keep continuous until infinity okay we don't know how many numbers are there so these numbers cannot be represents p by q any numbers manipulated by pi like pi square plus 2 or pi square not pi square but we can write pi by 2 or pi plus 5 whatever you write all numbers are irrational numbers another numbers that is called that is called euler's numbers an important constant in mathematics uh, these also uh, irrational numbers it can be represent p by q okay so any numbers like e square plus 2 or e by 2 any numbers that's manipulated by e is irrational numbers so these were the basic concepts now let's have some problem so this is our first problem which of the following numbers is an irrational number so first option a we can see a square root of 4 and a square root of 9 we can write this way right so it becomes 2 by 3 so it's of course a rational number this is terminating decimal number of course it's a rational number pi by 4 irrational numbers 2 by 3 rational numbers this is limited decimal numbers or finite decimal numbers it's also rational numbers here the explanation you can take a look which of the following so these options means a square root of negative 9 so a square root of something negative always a complex number not real okay so this is not real number in this case cubic root of negative 9 so remember if nth root value of n like nth root and this n is odd number so if there is negative still we can find some value so this is a real number remember okay so this is our correct option in this case 
sixth root of negative 9 again it's an even number so it's complex similarly here 4 also even number is also complex okay dear learners i have some homework for you you can try at home you have to find out types of numbers like either rational or irrational so if this numbers log base 10 2 is rational if you think then write it rational if it is irrational write it irrational log e base 10 then log 10 base 100 e square cubic root 2 power 12 fifth root 2 power 15 fifth root 3 power 19 so all are homework for you if you can find the answer please try i can add some more let's say number 9 we can write this way ln 10 tell me whether it's rational or irrational then number 10 we can write another number like 7 2 power we can write 21 okay i think this 10 problems is enough for understanding okay we i can modify like this way here 10 cube tell me okay tell me whether it's rational or irrational so that was my today's tutorial i hope you understood well and if you have any doubt any questions please write me uh, i think this will be helpful for your exams so have a nice time and if you still didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe and share with your friends also please join my telegram channel and in follow my instagram account where sometimes i post i have planned to post there different tips so you can follow there so have a good time see you my next tutorials